Hello everyone, up well and all it's here. Now, it has been quite a long while since my last video and I heavily apologize for that. I've been very busy, very, very busy indeed. But, seeing as this month is the Terrier 150, I figured I'd get me a special one right here. This is an Isle of Wight uh, Terrier. Please do not ask me to pronounce its name, because I really cannot. But, um, yeah. Gonna have a good look at it in detail, and see how it runs. Hopefully it's all good. Hopefully it's really all good, I mean, uh... Ah, crap. DCC fitted, and for all those who know my channel, I run DC, never DCC. Son of a god! Okay, I've calmed down after finding out it's DCC fitted, so let's have a look at this. Here we have BR Terrier, Kara's Brook, uh, I think it's called. Number 13 of the R of White system, and there's the Hornby numbering system for it. Still ticked off, I got a DCC fitted, but oh well, can't complain, it's a beautiful looking model. Plus, well, easy fix if I get it blank in piece. So no big. Let's get her out the box. Okay, first up, paperwork. If it comes out. Keyword, if. There we go. Stuck in the slot. Alright. A1, A1X types. The usual. And DCC ready and sound. Once I get the blanking piece, I'm definitely fending it onto that because I do not run DCC. And that will mean I'll toss this out, which is the DCC decoder thing. Not really um, my cup of tea. Mm. All right, detail pack. It's just steam and vac pipes, nothing big. And I'm taking a seat one down this, so let's have a oh my goodness gracious me, that's beautiful. Oh, crummy fingerprints, that's me. Oh my goodness, the relief on the gold let on the lettering, it's like it's gold print, and the nameplate is beautiful. That's lovely. The cab. Fantastic. Buffer's brilliant. The large coal space of a bunker, that's brilliant as well. And then pockets, I mean, I already have two terriers, but this, I mean, this might be the cherry on top. This is beautiful. I love the copper cap style. This is brilliant. And the underside, yeah, that's a harsh reminder. Easy fix, but still harsh. Oh, I mean, this is brilliant. This is beautiful. The number ring on it, the plate work, everything's brilliant. It's, I love it. Okay, next time you see this locomotive, it'll be, whoops, it will be at the model club. Because I, I think DCC fitted might run on analog, but it'll take a fair bit of juice to get it running. And there's no point in doing a slow run piece if I know it's just going to go like a bat out of hell as soon as you turn the control on. So, mm. it's what it is, folks. Quite simple. Oh, next up, model club. Let's go. Okay. Here we are at the model club and we have Cars Brook out on the layout. Looking very smart behind some BR era. Actually, no, post-war Southern Railway coaches. Transitional livery, so I think I can get away with it. And here we have Stepney in its classic A1 form. And Martello in its unnamed Southern livery. I find it a very damn shame that Southern Railway did not keep the names on the locomotives. But, ah oh well, it is what it is, though. Now... 
I'm actually going to do something I haven't done, I think, ever on this channel. Correct me if I'm wrong, to those who've been watching the channel for ages. And for those who have, all I can say is thank you and what the hell have you been doing? My early stuff's rubbish. But joking aside, I'm just going to do a top and tail running. And hopefully this running session is better from what I've heard of what the Bluebell's been doing. Only one Terrier operating during that whole event. What the flip? But then again, this is what I've heard. So please do not take my words to heart. Alright, let's get Carsbrook out and about. So we're at the end of this video. I know it's short as hell compared to my usual videos in the past, where some of them can take up to maybe half an hour. That sound about right? Yeah. Only our trainiacs are visiting. Hi guys. He doesn't have a YouTube, sadly. Instagram, yeah. Anyway, back to the main point. Would I recommend this Terrier? Specifically this one, if you're a DCC modeler, hell yes. If you're a DC modeler, like I am, get a blanking plate. Um, I might try a Bachman one, see if that fits. But it, for a sign that's fitted with a DC Dakota, it does okay running on DC. A bit sluggish, a bit, as soon as you get to a certain power rate, it just goes off like a rocket. Like the older pocket rockets, actually. But, yeah, it, it's a great model. The detail is beautiful. I mean, i got to rate the detail of it 10 out of 10. It's brilliant. And will you quit video bombing? <coughs> Cheeky bugger, ain't he? <laughs> but, all right, main point is, though, it's a fantastic model. No doubt about it. And... Happy birthday to Fenchurch and Poplar, I think it is, for the Terrier 150. 150 years, not many locomotive classes make it to that age in number and keep operating too. I mean, the closest thing we have here in New Zealand is the Rogers K? Okay? Yeah. Oh yeah, and the Dubs A's. Yes. The Dubs and Co. A class tanks, yeah. I don't know if any are running yet. <laughs> but 150 years, definitely, yeah, that is incredible. It is just incredible. Right, that's it for the Terrier 150 for my end, I'm sad to say. But, and if I get permission to do so, uh, as an end card for this video, I may put up... Um, Step, uh, Terrier 55 Stepney's video on Poplar, what was meant to be the first Terrier. So, that's if I get permission from the good guy. I did get his permission for Stepney, but see how things go from there. Until then, this is up one I was saying, take care, keep safe.
And don't do anything bloody stupid.